Hey folks, Derek Q. Sanders here. I promised you guys a video um, last week that I, I never delivered. Uh, I've been just in deep deliberation about it. And what it was, it was a question that was, uh, that was posed to me on my Facebook timeline. Uh, one of my followers posed a question that she wanted to hear from me and from uh, other men. Would The question was, would you rather be wanted or needed? And it sounds like a simple question uh, that doesn't require a whole lot of thought. But anybody that knows me, I'm, I, I think a lot and I think a little uh, uh, deeply about uh, things, about questions. And because a lot of times when we ask questions, what's important is not just the question itself, but the reason behind the question. And sometimes there are questions that are asked and the question, it's actually what's behind the question that's actually more interesting than the question itself or the reason why the question was asked. And with that particular question, it's not the first time, uh, obviously, that I've heard that asked. And I'm sure you guys have probably heard that uh, asked before you heard people make such statements as I would rather be uh, wanted than needed. And when you think about those two things, um, the reason a person would say they would rather be wanted than needed because you figure that a person that needs you, the basis of that relationship is need. And you're in that person's life because they need something from you, as opposed to someone who doesn't need anything from you, but they still want uh, and or desire relationship with you. And it would seem that being wanted or desired would ha be more valuable than the uh, the other relationship because that relationship uh, would be based upon need. But when I, I think about it, if a person asks me would I rather be wanted or needed, I would rather be loved. And the reason I say that is because when you think about it, person wants you doesn't mean that they love you a person that needs you even if you're meeting their needs doesn't mean that person uh, loves you either uh, one relationship could be based upon obviously need the other relationship could be based upon want and that person could want you for a number of reasons they could want you uh, because there's something great about you that they desire or they could want you for their own selfish reasons that really don't benefit you at all but when you talk about being loved, there's always a benefit in true, authentic love. Um, so when a person asks me to, uh, to choose between the two, and I think it's an assumption, or it's not even mentioned, love is never even mentioned in that question, would you rather be loved, wanted, or needed? It's almost like uh, assumed without saying it, or maybe not even considered. It's like uh, love was not even a part of that equation. I would rather be loved and I say that again because it, it kind of makes it kind of redirects your focus because would you rather be wanted or needed or would you rather be loved because again uh, love is not necessarily inherent in either one of those options and the, the, the thought for me is what's the reason for that question uh, because if somebody loves you do we even have to haggle with whether or not, well, do we even have to haggle with uh, being wanted or needed? And I think that the, the reason for that is, is because we're looking for something to make that, uh, that, uh, to make it more valuable. So if I'm wanted, that's more valuable than being needed. But when you look at love, it's, it, you don't have to, it, it doesn't have to be filtered through either one of those. Because love itself is a behavior. It's how I treat you. Uh, it's not just how I feel about you, but it's how I treat you regardless to how I feel. Because uh, I like to say this, uh, feelings are like sales prices. They're subject to change without notice. You feel one way and then in, in a moment's notice you feel a, a totally different way. Our feelings fluctuate. They, they go up and down. But love is not based upon how we feel. It is a behavior. It's, it's a commitment that we have to, be, to maintain a certain level of behavior 
uh, even when we don't feel a certain way, even when you don't don't have the the butterflies, the warm fuzzies, because you don't always have those. Those things come and go. It's different things that happen in our life. Sometimes good things, sometimes bad. Sometimes just nothing. It's just we're human beings, and we go through a myriad of emotions. So love is maintaining a certain behavior through thick and thin, or or when you do your marital vows. Uh, for, uh, in sickness and in health, uh, for better, for worse, for richer, or poor. Love maintains that same regardless. And I'm not saying that you don't have uh, good days and bad days where sometimes, you know, we're off or that kind of thing. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying overall, love, um, it's maintaining a certain uh, behavior. So again, if I have to be uh, choose, then I choose I would prefer to be loved because, again, love supersedes either one of those. A person, uh, if they want you, they can love you and want you. They can love you and need you. And then I'm, I'm even hesitant to even lose, use the word need because uh, when you consider need, what do we mean by need? Because when we talk about need, now we're talking about a necessity. And the things that we actually need, we need things like water. We need food. We need shelter. Other things we can kind of, you can have them or not have them, and it's not, uh, it's not going to affect your life in terms of whether or not you're able to live or able to maintain or sustain your life. So need is kind of depends. It uh, depends on uh, the context in which we're using it because everybody's replaceable. Everybody's replaceable. There's no one that you actually need there are people that that you would like to have around and things like that but again those things that those people are replaceable if they weren't we'd all be with the first person that we ever wanted to be with or the first person we ever loved and we're not so to wrap it up uh if i have to choose between being wanted or needed i don't choose either one of those i prefer to be loved which i think ultimately that's what we're all looking for all right so if anybody have any comments Please do comment, uh, share, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. I have other videos there. Uh, in case you're not seeing it uh, on YouTube, you might be seeing this video on Facebook. Check out my website, www.DerekQSanders.com. Check out my product pages there. You will find my uh, published works. I have two books that I have published and I have others on the way until next time and, and if you all have any questions um any topics or anything you'd like me to expound upon uh touch on whatever uh if there's uh i write a post daily on relationships if there's something that i write that you'd like me to um explain go a little uh, go a little bit more into depth uh on then uh let me know in the comments or inbox me or whatever because obviously uh, in writing, you can you can only express yourself so much uh, with a written word. All right, thanks everybody. Read, uh, I'm sorry, watch, comment, share. Thanks. Have a good night, everybody.